welcome back to a Hello. brand new episode of Hot Toys Talk. I'm Paul. And I'm Tom. And today we're going to be talking about Tom's new unboxing. My unboxing, which I got last month. Mate, I got that figure last year. Paul got it last year. I've just had like situations and money kind of issues and all that that's just you no know, made me kind of get a lot so I thought I'd get this one there's just been situations that's been going on in my life and I thought right you know what I've not done an unboxing for you so I managed to pick it up and paying I've been paying it off kind of gradually a wee bit here and a wee bit there you know a wee 40 quid here and there just so that I'm not actually paying the full work but then you know it left me it left like a hundred and something on it so I just went you know what I'm just getting it and doing the unboxing so I finally just got it and that was it, you know, I thought, hell wait, you know, get it and get the unboxing for you guys and get it kind of done, so. So take it away, Tom. You know, so that's it. So get this bad boy out. further ado, we shall get this opened and we'll show, see, it, gradually, if you have if you've seen Paul's video of him doing the unboxing of Kyle Ren, it'll be the same, but I'll kind of go through the whole same your... scenario with it anyway, you can uh, first case Force anybody that's not it. So this is my, no, it's not my first, uh, oh. Force Awakens, I have the Stormtroopers. Well, second Force Awakens. So second, so second Force Awakens, yes. But this is your first main character. This is my first main character, yeah. first main I've character. got like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Force Awakens. Eight, eight, yeah. But you know, I just decided to get him. You know, he's Kylo Ren. He's a he's a cool villain. I mean, I would, I would, I would like the opportunity if they gave it to actually unmask him in this character. But obviously, that was never going to happen. So. But you're getting a a new one. Yeah, I know you're getting a new one. But the only thing is, I'd like to unmask with all the scars and all that and stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. That would have been. That would have been the real icing in the cake. How are you choosing to display your um, Kylo Ren? Because, like, you know how, like, in the, at the end of the film, we kind of walk sometimes without the hood, or, you know, like, when he was on the bridge and stuff like that, before he takes his helmet off? I'm unsure how or would you Or would you have his hood up and have him doing an iconic Kylo Ren pose? I'm unsure how to, how to pose him. I really am. What did you think of Kylo Ren as a villain? I was a cool villain, he was... Near the end of the film, but when he started fighting though, he was a bit of a kind of wimp man. He looked good, started the film, entered in, he just kind of had the mask and he was just the way he spoke and all that. It's like, oh, like, he's actually pretty cool, like the way he speaks. And then, as soon as, like, he kept the mask on, he was just really bad and really kind of mysterious and stuff and a lot of anger and a lot of issues. As soon as that mask came off and stuff, he just kind of changed into a complete and utter kind of gimp. He just completely did not ha did not have that fear factor in me. Didn't make me feel, oh, he's badass. He just made me go, really, is this him with the mask? Really, he's nothing, nothing special. He's just an average guy that just, he just looks wimpy and pathetic and just, ugh. And then obviously when he kills Han Solo, it's obviously it's epic because he obviously just stabs him right through, man, the gut, and that's it, man. It's, see you later. And obviously that was a cool thing to kind of lead on to him getting injured and then obviously going out and fighting. I thought I thought when they first introduced him, I thought he was a great, great um, I mean, character. I mean, I, that when they first introduced him, when you saw him and he, you know, what, killing him... Um, Kill him, what's his name now? Uh, he comes out and goes... He c comes out and like, he kills uh, the, the old guy and all that. I mean, that's awesome. But what do you think of the mask? The helmet? The mask is cool, but that's what I said. See if they could give you the opportunity to actually take, what, have his head underneath that and then you take the helmet off and like, his face is there. That would have been... No. That would have been brilliant. Because, like, it just makes you... Would you like the way when he takes it off and... Stands on the bridge. Well, that's it. Take it off, man. He's got any scars and all that, you know what I mean? And he's. You know, he's. But then I suppose he didn't really take his mask off that many times in The Force Awakens. He had it on, the helmet on for the majority of the time. 
And a lot of people thought it was Luke Skywalker, oh, but that's Luke in that helmet and all that. I was like, oh man, that cracks me up. So, without further ado, guys, here it is. I will get photos when I get him posed up, and I'll get him with um, his arm because obviously it will take a while for me to get this arm and get the batteries in because the batteries are a nightmare. If any of you ever get a figure that you need to put batteries in that arm, they're a nightmare. You have to open it up and then you've got a wee safe, a wee plastic safe bit you've got to pull and you've got to actually put the batteries in a certain way and then you've got to actually put it and then you've got to test it to make sure it works and then if it works then that's it and then at least you've got it but you've got to keep fuddling about with it until the batteries are actually slotted in perfectly and then once they're slotted in then you try and switch it on and then if it comes on you know that's it, job's a good job. You don't have a great pose like you know and then as well, if you ever have issue, you've got the, this wee peg, you've got this wee tong, this wee peg bit here. You have to actually take that arm off, try to f then get it up the actual arm sleeve to actually get it in the socket and actually fit it into place. You've got to actually listen to it actually cutting into place. It's a, it's a hellish, hellish thing to do, man. But I'll try. I'll get it done and get it posted. But as I say, this is me, this is, this is my Kylo, this is my Kylo Ren, finally unboxed. My next one I think I'm going for is Phasma, I think he's, I think Phasma is my next one on my list. And after Phasma it's... Did you find that Jim's got you a look? Um, I don't know yet, I need to actually... Once, if, uh, once his look's in there. Jim's got a look in. He says, "I put one side for me." He's got a look on the end of the form. He's hidden that. And obviously, I don't know what, when you're going to get. Is he still got your hand solo, Chewbacca? I think so. I think you still got that. I mean, I think that's it. But I tell Jim, like, I'll get them eventually once I can. Like, I, I, I explained to my situation we Obviously, like, with the flat and all that, having to move out the flat and try to find a place to go the new until eventually we go back into the flat once. Obviously, money situations find me way. Obviously, me and my cousin and once things get sorted and if we go back into the flat, then things will be, things will be good. So, final thoughts? But, final thoughts, aye. It's, it's really nice. I like the cloth and the material. Yeah. Obviously, it's nice and the... And obviously you've got the hood, you can either obviously have the, the hood. hood. you can either have the hood. But that's what I'm saying, the only disappointing... What for? The only disappointing thing was... Yeah. The only disappointing thing was the... Obviously there's no head. I mean, I you, you take that helmet off, there's nothing much underneath it. It's just a pure stump that's just there, which is black. I mean, I would even sell for all them, given there's another one where it's like unmasked. I mean, you give you the option of having the helmet. Or give you the Darth Vader. Or if they gave you, if they gave you, you could pop the they gave you a head in there. You could take that helmet off and pop the head on. You could pop the head on. I know. I mean that's. I mean I bet you a lot. Of but people the problem with this figure was it. This was like one of the early ones that got released when the Force Awakens. I know, I know, out. I know. And people have seen this, and then if they saw like the Adam Driver head sculpt, they would have went, "Oh look, so Adam Driver, you see." I know. And it, nobody was expecting him to go. <laughs> take his mask off. I like the way it does come off. The way. It, but yep. unfortunately we will not be seeing that in The Last Jedi. Say goodbye to that helmet. No, we will see it, but we'll see, we've seen him smash it. Yeah. Guarantee he smashes that helmet in the beginning of the movie. You see that, <laughs> that You see that helmet for the last time in the film and that's it and he obviously smashes it and then that's, you know, that's it, that's it. Bye-bye helmet, it's gone. That's him and then... There is rumours he is getting a new helmet, but I don't know what's going on there. There's been talk. There was a new, there was a helmet leak, and I think they've probably went, oh no, there's all this talk about a helmet, blah blah, no, we'll take it back, we'll just leave them without a helmet, what not, and I don't know what's going on there, it's all just weird. So anyway guys, that'll do it for this review. Yeah. So don't forget guys to like, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to Tom's channel for more. Yep. Until next time guys, take care, bye bye. Bye bye.
really, I think it's one of the best for 